What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Oshomole scores major win over Obaseki as court bar state government from arresting and prosecuting him. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video now. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button, click that bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. All right, here are the news and details. A federal high court in Abuja has issued an interim order stopping a Doe state governor, Gordon Obaseki, from arresting and prosecuting Adams Oshomole, national chairman of the All Progressive Congress APC. In general, Obaseki had set up a panel to probe the construction of the Edo Specialist Hospital and supply of equipment for the hospital. In May, the commission led by James Oyomire had indicted Oshomole for breach of the state public procurement law while he was governor of the state. The commission recommended the arrest and prosecution of the national chairman. Oshomole, in an ex parte application filed through his lawyer, West Idahosa, prayed the court to stop his arrest and prosecution on account of the Edo State Panel report. Alec, a GSMA counsel to Edo State Government, filed a preliminary objection challenging the relief sought by Oshomole in his ex parte application. A GSMA also contended that the court lacks the jurisdiction to hear the matter. Apart from the Edo State Government, other, other respondents in the suit are Yinka Omoregbe, Edo State Attorney General and Commissioner of Justice, James Oyomire, the Inspector General of Police, IGP, and the Department of State Service, DSS. After hearing parties in the suit on Monday, Ahmed Mohammed the judge ordered the respondent to stay action in in, in in pending the determination of the suit before it an interim order is hereby made restraining the prosecution of the applicant pursuant to the report submitted to the first to third respondent on any white paper pending the determination of the issue of jurisdiction raised in the first to fourth respondent notice preliminary objection the judge held the court also directed on Shomole's counters to save all the respondent his processes within 48 hours. This case has been adjourned to June 17. Wow, all right, guys. So Shomole has just scored a major win. This is a major win, guys. He has just scored a major win because in um in a game of politics, Obaseki was about to unleash another serious dangerous move on the chessboard of politics but Oshomole being a very uh, fast guy had to do what had maneuver and stop Obaseki on track Obaseki had actually based on the committee report that actually indicted Oshomole that Oshomole did not pass through due process when he was allocating um when he was actually constructing the Edo Specialist Hospital and the procurement of hospital equipment, he didn't pass through due process. In fact, according to the report, the report had it that he paid an upfront of 70% you get to the supplier, which is against the due process of the state. You know, according to state uh, procurement act, you are to the supplier is to supply the goods. You are to be given, I think, is it thirty percent or twenty? I think thirty percent. You are to be mobilized thirty percent, and then later on, they can you after supplement after the supplies of goods, you are to be mobilized the remaining amount, and also to um, some fraud charges were also brought up against Oshomole. So, but I don't want to delve. Um, into all of that. But what we have here is that Obaseki was about to arrest Oshomole. I don't know, maybe probably what could have happened, he maybe could have kidnapped him because you know that primaries is coming up June 22nd. There's going to be APC primaries and there is a whole lot of tension in Edo State right now. There's a whole lot of tension. Even the federal government have even redeployed. The commissioner of police has been redeployed. You get that you all know that the governor, 
you get are used to actually making use of these commissioners of police during election meanwhile election of a dual state is going to be by september but this june 22nd is going to be a do or die affair because two elephants are going to fight and guess who will suffer it is the grass it is the grass so right now oshomole is trying to do all within his power to make sure he stops obaseki right there on the track you get the member obaseki have tried removing him he used cut other that was i think um and i think it was, was it march it was march where oshomole was removed as a national chairman but oshomole sought cut relief that utterly reinstated him again so the battle is still ongoing oshomole don't want obaseki to go for second term and obaseki wants to obaseki just a few days ago went to tinubu tinubu couldn't give him any assurance now he went to buari he visited buari in abuja on monday you get and Buari happened to give him a soft landing a little. I don't know if Buari's endorsement is actual, you know, uh, an endorsement because you know politicians they could give you their word of uh, their word of mouth and then only to to mess you up during the primaries. You get so that is what and you all know that during the fight with uh, Oshomole when Obaseki unleashed the first strike against Oshomole's camp. Who saved Oshomole? It was Buari and Tinubu. They were the one. They were the one that saved Oshomole. So it could be that even though we know that Abaseki visited Buari with some governors to try to get a soft landing, the governor pleaded with Buari to support. And according to the report, Buari, have, uh, I think he summoned the APC national chairman, that is Oba, uh, Oshomole. He summoned him. I don't, I don't know the outcome of that meeting but i think even if the president gives oshomole any directive oshomole will never oshomole is not somebody known to forgive him he will never forgive you it even though he is to forgive anybody it is not the likes of obaseki over his dead body oshomole will never forgive obaseki Maybe he may forgive him after he's out of the race. After his political career is ended, he may forgive him. But not now, because if Oshomole wins, if he wins this battle, you get me, it then it will be a very big slap to Oshomole. So he knows that very well. His camp knows that. Tenebo doesn't want Obaseki. He doesn't want him. Obaseki is not like um is not like um this former governor of Lagos State. I'm trying to remember his name, Ambode. Ambode never fought. He never did anything. I believe if he had even made any attempt to have even um, tried to fight, I believe our governors would have supported him. Even the feeble support that Buari tried giving to um, Ambode never worked because Tinubu's own forces in the southwest, his stronghold in the southwest is so strong. That even Obasanjo himself, while Obasanjo was in power, Obasanjo could not disband Tinobu. He couldn't. That's to tell you the kind of juju. Sorry for using that word, but I'm just trying to crack jokes here. You can also tell you that how formidable force Tinobu has. All right, so, but that's by the side, that, but that by the way. So, the court have eventually restrained. Obaseki from arresting Oshomole. Oshomole knew this it was going to come to this and probably who knows if Obaseki has plan off his sleeve either to arrest him and then I don't know but the problem here is now is that Obaseki he appears to be there's a stalemate right now there's a stalemate and if you look at the um, Oshomole's boy Oshomole's um, Izeyamu, the, the consensus candidate of APC right now, there's a problem. Yesterday, he demanded for his refund of his nomination form. He demanded for it because, according to him, um, he appears as if um, um, he, he didn't get the backing of, he didn't actually get the backing of the states. I mean, the, the party leaders, like uh, Basen, I mean, um, Atinubu didn't give him that backing. And also to uh, it appears Buari didn't give him backing. So and again too, you know, he has a, a serious problem of you know party registration. In fact, according to reports, there's every proof and evidence that he never registered in APC. So opposition are using that against him. So 
Oshomole right now is forced to dump Ize Iyamu and pick another person. So that is what is happening right now. So what, what do you guys think about this? Please, before you leave, do make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Hit that red subscribe button. Click that bell icon to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. And before you leave, please make sure you hit that red, um, you, you drop your comments. Thank you very much. God bless you.